Hi guys, Steve and Coach Duncan here. And quick little video for you. I was um, just got a quick idea. I've been sitting at the computer a lot over the last couple of months, and it's just starting to kind of affect me because, um, like a lot of people, I find myself having, um, you know, a bit of um, the camera's on you, Lord Duncan, so you look a bit strange just standing there <laughs> saying nothing. Uh, I've been sitting at the computer a lot, guys, just um, like everyone else, I find myself slipping into bad habits and trying to correct them as much as I can, but it does, does affect me as well. So um, I, I've committed to doing a two minute video or a two minute um, mobility circuit every hour or two to keep myself from getting too banged up. And I just done one there and I thought it would be a good idea to shoot. So um, what I just done, guys, very, very quickly is into your corner stretch. So I'm going to get the elbows slightly above um, shoulder level and don't lean forward too much when you're doing this. You want to be kind of standing upright, um, so the feet are kind of underneath the shoulders and the hips, and you get a nice stretch on the chest. So you're um, you're switching off those um, those pec muscles mainly, which can really pull into a bad position. So then after that, um, I onto the ground there, Duncan. We want to do our 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 by rotations. So we're sitting back on the heels, elbows under the shoulders, and we're gonna go elbow to elbow, and sit back with heels a bit more. Please sit right back there. That's it. And get the elbow back a bit more as well from the underneath the shoulder. That's it. Elbow to elbow. And you're just following the elbow up. And you're trying to do this, guys, without holding your breath or without dropping your chin to your chest. So it'll be a nice deep breathing going in to that movement. Deep belly breathing. As a client said to me before, it's impossible to breathe into your belly. You did race. <laughs> but you get the idea. So that was the second one done, guys. So I kind of went for 12 of them each side. Then we're up on, we go up to the wall there, looking. So we've got the corner stretch. I was holding that for about 30 to 45 seconds. Then we've done our 12 of those, got it done with 12 of them. And then we're going to do our wall angels. So we do them standing. So feet about a foot away from the wall, back flat, and you're trying to not let the chin poke forward too much. And we're going to go up. Duncan is a bit bigger than me, so we might need a different office for him. So we're going up, and what we're aiming on here is not bending the elbows and not letting the back arch and a slight bit of pressure back into the wall and you're stopping um, before your back arches, before you hold your breath or before your arms start to bend. So you want all that movement from the upper back, the shoulder blades and the shoulder joint. And um, you know, it's again very tough if you spend um, a lot of time sitting down, you might struggle with this one. So just go within your, your range of motion. And the last one then we shall do are our shoulder flexions. So feel about hip width apart from me. And I, I went about uh, 12 to 15 of those guys that I, we just showed you. And then I done um, 12 of these guys as well. So it's straight arms. And what we're doing is we're raising the arms up overhead without the back arching off the wall, um, without um, holding the breath and without bending the elbows. And again, it's a challenging little exercise, but most of us never put our hands higher than shoulder level unless we're, um, unless we consciously do it in our training. A lot of times that we're sitting on a desk or, um, you know, on the phone or slouching, so our hands rarely go over our head. So it's a nice, nice little, um, it's a very important pattern to all be able to keep is your hands overhead. So as we go up, we're getting that range of motion from our shoulders, we're getting that core activation by keeping the, the, the core engaged, um, and it's in you know, another challenge. So you could kind of whip out a 90 second circuit, guys, with, with a couple of those exercises, depending on your your work situation, um, obviously you might be able to jump onto the ground doing, doing um, the second one that we showed you, but hopefully that's something useful from that. So myself and Coach Duncan, signing out.